Hey YouTube, welcome back to my uh, channel. It's been a while since I uploaded my uh, last video. I don't know if it was like... Maybe five months ago. If you're expecting a new video, I apologize. I've been lacking lately, but... Uh, today I have a full collection update video. As long as stuff I got at H45 in South Pasadena, California. Um, and overall, just going over all the new pieces I got so starting off with the first new piece I've gotten I got this a few weeks ago from uh, Roland Kelly at Death Row Masks this is his H1SM Kirk and let me tell you this thing is absolutely beautiful it looks so vintage the paint job he did on it the hair um, it's just it's absolutely amazing. It even gave me a little note too and saying uh, that he's really happy with this uh, this uh, copy he made. Let you guys read that, pause the video. But yeah, this uh, this mask is he 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 knocked it out of the park. So that is my H1SM Kirk, the newest addition to my collection. Then as you can see back there, um, I got a Fright Rags H45 exclusive um, figure signed by the man himself, Nick Castle. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That was one of the things I wanted to pick up at H45, so I'm happy I got that. Uh, I also got the Laurie Strode figure, um, so I got two two figures that I was really looking forward to picking up. The one biggest regret figure I didn't pick up is the uh, Dr. Chalice. You know, I could have got one, um, but I fumbled because I was too focused and gung-ho on getting signatures for my poster, and uh, I missed the ball, so it is what it is, but... I'm happy with uh, that, so. Alright, next is the grail piece of my collection. My uh, PS78 by James Carter. The one and only James Carter. And uh, I'm pretty sure, well you guys have seen this mask in a, this mask in a lot of previous videos. And uh, you know, it speaks for itself. James Carter, he's literally the best mask painter in the game. Uh, Nicholas, he's the best sculptor, you know. Those two in a combination is like they're on unstoppable power when you have a, a nag mask and James Carter finish. You can't get any better than that. So I'm so happy with this mask, and it is one mask that it is one mask that is never leaving my collection. And uh, actually, uh, I sent this mask off to get repainted by James. And uh, literally as soon as James posted his picture, somebody hit me up already asking to buy it off me. And I'm like, bro, I literally just got this painted. I haven't even got it in my hands yet. Like, But, you know, I'm, this mask is never going to leave my collection. I, I love it so much. This is the mask of my nightmares as a kid. This is how the shape has always looked to me. With the castle stretch. It's, I just, I love this mask so much. And then back here, I got an actual piece of the hedge. Sorry if it's a bit hard to see. Um, but I got an actual piece of the hedge um, from when I was in South Pasadena. And I put it in a shadow box. And uh, put some Mod Podge on it to preserve it. But, you know, that was one of the things I also left with. When I was leaving California, or uh, sorry, when I went to the filming location, I told my uh, my dad, I'm like, I'm not leaving without a little piece of that hedge. So I got it, and I'm happy. That's uh, it's a little reminder, and every time I look at it, it gets me excited and happy that I actually made it to South Pasadena, coming all the way from Canada. So, all right, next we got the knife from the original movie not the exact knife but a replica from uh, none, none other than uh, the hedge 
Um, I think his name is Riley. Let me adjust his brightness. Yep, his name is Riley. Um, you can find him on Facebook. He's known as The Hedge. Um, but he made this knife for me. And, you know, it doesn't get any better than this. He makes the best knives in the game. The best H1 knives. Uh, he just puts so much passion and love into every single knife. And If you want the ultimate H1 knife, you can't go any... You have to go with the hedge. You know, he's, he's the best. He makes the best replicas. By far. Moving down to the second shelf. I got my uh, H2 mask. This is a DP99 2011 converted by uh, co uh, converted by James Carter H2 finish. And uh, I picked this up in August from a uh, guy who's uh, local to me. And uh, I absolutely love this mask. Uh, mask too. Um, the mask has blonde hair on it. Um, I know a lot of people will get the brown, like the reddish brown hair, um, but I've heard a lot recently that in H2, the hair actually went back to its original blonde Kirk form, so I think this, the hair on this mask might not be too far off, but either way, James Carter finish, you know it's going to be good, James Carter is the best. So I'm happy I have this in my collection. Finally, I have a nice H2. And then I got a Dick Warlock picture back there to go with the mask. I got that at H45 when I was in California. Signed by Dick Warlock. And you know what? He was the nicest freaking guy I've ever met. He was so nice and uh, uh, funny story. This was... Uh, this is not the original uh, picture I paid to get signed. Um, he started signing one before, but we were talking about something, and uh, he started writing down on the picture what we were talking about, not even putting his signature, and he's like, Oh shit! I was writing uh, what we were just talking about. And I'm like, oh. So he he uh, got me a new uh, picture, and he signed it, but he was, he was such a nice guy, cracking jokes, and... He has a he had a good time with the fans, so really uh, memorable experience with Dick. And then I uh, got my Kirk Stretch converted by uh, Rob Louder at uh, the Shape Studios. I think now he's uh, called uh, Rob Louder FX on Instagram, but he did a phenomenal job on this. Uh, eye cuts are really good. And uh, his flesh tones on the mask look really good, and the hair work is really nice. And he's a uh, he's a new up up and coming artist, so check him out. Um, Nikos is starting to send him more masks because uh, in order to finish Nikos's masks, you gotta be a reputable artist and have good finishes. So. Uh, his work is finally starting to get noticed, and uh, Nikos is starting to send him more masks. But yeah, this is my Kirk Stretch done up by him, and uh, yeah. The bottom shelf, I got my Halloween 3 set. Absolutely love Halloween 3. Don't care what anybody says. Uh, it's a, The movie's a masterpiece. You know, just because Michael Myers isn't in it doesn't mean it's a bad movie um, but you know if y'all don't like it I suggest you know give it another viewing give it another chance but I absolutely love Halloween 3 and I have I had to have the, the set of masks this was the I picked this one up at H45 in California this was the last mask that trick-or-treat studios booth had in stock so uh, I took it right off the uh, mannequin head that was on display and uh, if you guys see the H45 videos and if you see this mask at the Trick or Treat uh, Studios booth that's the mask so it's this guy right here but I absolutely love Halloween 3 and it's just such an underrated masterpiece it was just it was shit on because Michael Myers wasn't in it at the time but you know 
it has a cult status and I, I I love this movie so much and Tom Atkins in the movie is Dr. Chalice it's uh it's an amazing viewing experience I love this movie all right now to uh, the poster this is a uh, Justin Osborne piece um, at slasher slasher in Cora. I have a sticker on my fridge I'm trying to look at. Slasher Inc. Slasher Inc. And uh, this is the H40 exclusive artwork um, from uh, the 40th anniversary. But, uh, you know, this is my favorite Halloween poster of all time. I absolutely love this poster and the vibe that it has going on. So uh, I had to pick this up. Uh, number... 22 out of 150 oh, there's Nick Castle's signature um, yeah got this one signed at H45 finally got a chance to meet Tommy Lee Wallace and uh, Nancy Loomis also got to meet uh, John Graham who played uh, Bob and uh, Sandy Johnson who played Judith Myers um, I absolutely love Tommy Lee Wallace's signature um, the way it looks and he puts like three dots right there and uh, you know it's a, it's an amazing poster and every time I look at it I'm, I'm just in absolute awe that I, I own something like this with such history from all these signatures from arguably one of the best films and horror films of all time I, uh, I love this piece and uh, I got my Terrifier 2 poster signed by uh, Terrifier 2 cast. Got the uh, new Terrifier 3 exclusive uh, poster that they were giving out at the uh, Terrifier 2 uh, re-release screening at movie theaters. And then I got my uh, Art the Clown Corner Crusher by Remzap Studios. He did an absolute phenomenal job on this. The blood work is insane. This is uh, definitely a mask I'm going to wear maybe next year. And uh, I'm thinking of dressing up as Art the Clown next uh, Halloween. So, yeah, I absolutely love this mask. And it's on top shelf for a reason in my cabinet. And I got David Howard Thornton's signature back there. And then I also got Damien Leone's signature on there too. Oh, and uh, we got the barf bag from Terrifier 2. Moving down, we got the uh, newest Trick or Treat Studios movie mold Rob Zombie Michael Myers masks. So as soon as I found out that Trick or Treat Studios was releasing this mask, I was absolutely hyped because Halloween 2007 was the first Halloween movie I've ever seen. And it holds a special place in my heart and uh, you know I know it's disliked by a lot of Halloween fans but to me the first Halloween movie that Rob Zombie did was really good um, and I've always I've always liked it and to me it has such a it has such a big uh, rewatch value so but as soon as I found out that Trick or Treat Studios was releasing this mask I had to buy it there's just something about the Rob Zombie mask that it it looks so intimidating, and uh, yeah, it's just it's an amazing mask, amazing mask. It's awesome to be living in an era where we are getting movie molds for sixty dollars, and even though the paint jobs aren't all that, that's not the that's not the uh, what am I trying to say? That's not a big deal when you're getting a movie mold mask. Like this is straight from the mold of Wayne Toth. And I got Tyler Main's signature back there in a picture. Then I got a vintage 1998 calendar reissue Bella Lugosi Dom Post mask. Got this uh, from a local seller to me. And uh, I got this when I was at Universal Studios in Hollywood, California when I went to uh, H45 
I love Dracula. The uh, classic movie, you know, classic monsters, Dracula, Frankenstein, the mummy. I, uh, I want to get other masks too. I want to get the Frankenstein mask and other Dom Post pieces. But right now this is the only one I have and I'm pretty happy with it. It's a, an amazing piece of mask history, especially Dom Post Studios. And, uh, you know, this mask being from 1998, the latex is still soft. And I shit you not, this mask has... This mask is about quarter inch thick. Like, it's a thick pull. And, uh... It, it, this mask is gonna live on through ages. It's, uh, it's an amazing mask. And then down there, I just got some basic, uh, haunt masks from, uh... The movie Haunt. Love that movie. I want to get the whole set, but shipping from uh, Trick or Treat Studios to Canada is quite expensive, so I'm going to have to get the masks in a big order. Well, either than that, that is the collection room. Give you another shot of uh, my cabinet. Just look at all those masks. Just staring right at you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, turn on uh, bell notifications. I'm going to try and uh, get off my ass and start re-uploading more videos because I have uh, more stuff coming in. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day. And uh, I'll catch you later. Peace out.